Hi guys, I just thought I'd show you my setup for an open Alec Raspberry Pi. Uh, my system is overclocked and I'll just show you the boot up here. Um, I'm going to do a reboot uh, just to show you. Do a clean shutdown first and then it should boot from scratch. Um, let's try this now. There we go. should reboot there we go right as you can see rainbow screen preboot everything goes super snappy the open elec boot also super snappy and there you go Cody logo and we're in um, I'm running the latest version of open elec um, on the Raspberry Pi 2 um, as you can see the CPU temperature is uh, 42 degrees um, it's been on for a couple of minutes before I did the reboot. Um, it normally idles around 40 degrees, maybe 41, sometimes 39. Um, on a load, it'll probably go up to about 45 degrees. Um, as you can see, I've overclocked it to 1100 megahertz. Um, and you can see in the top, it is the ARM V7, which is the Raspberry Pi. The multiple cores at the bottom there really nice system um, I'm overclocking it to the max um, I've got a cooler inside here and it's running pretty silent it's a 12 volt uh, fan and I'm running that straight off the Pi here's the inside I've attached it with um, some double sided tape to the case and I've got some cooling fins on the chips as well um, I'm also running off the USB. I've only got the boot files on the actual SD card and the rest of the system is on the USB. Um, it's a fast USB. It's a 3.0, one of the fastest you can get. And yeah, let's have a look inside the menus here. Get out of this. and I'll show you some, uh, some add-ons that are pre-installed. There you go. It's super snappy in the menus as well. You open up, it almost populates instantly. Let's load up some box art for stuff. There you go. Instant load ups. Snappy UI. Everything runs really, really smooth. Let's check out another couple of pages here. So you can see that I didn't preload any of this. Um, I did install the add ons first. Uh, but I haven't navigated too far into it, so as you can see, everything just loads in inst almost instantly. Um, as you can see, the UI is so, so snappy. Everything just runs straight off the bat. Um, as you've noticed, probably, um, I still have some overscan. Um, that's because I'm using a monitor that I'm not going to use with this Raspberry Pi. This is going to be hooked up to a different TV that can handle the overscan and automatically scales it to the screen. But yeah, all in all, really good system. Um, Raspberry Pi 2, major upgrade on the Raspberry Pi 1. Nice overclocking capabilities, doesn't run too hot. Yeah, still fiddling with this menu here. I can't believe how fast it is. It just loads up instantly. Okay, well, that's it for me. Um, like if you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.